That is without doubt brilliant. And we have one other product right now that is going to crash very shortly. But I'll tell you something about it. It is the business. If you've never seen this before, you're in for a treat. Take a look at the details on this. This is our Rigmaster 10-inch compound miter saw with laser line generator. It comes with a free safety kit. That's goggles and a mask. Show you that in a second. <coughs> 817248 is your item number. Ignore the website price because it's going to crash. And when it does, call us on that free phone number at the bottom of your screen. Uh, Tonus, Tell love you what, this mate, tool. Th these are great. Great bit of kit to have, mate. What you've got is a 10-inch sliding compound miter saw. When I say sliding, what it actually does is the whole table bed slides in and out on this rail, which gives you a much larger range of cutting. To give you an idea, by the way, you can actually cut timber up to 290 mil wide. What's that and about? Up to, it's about, just about 11 inches. Yeah, 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 yeah. And about three inches, 75 mil thick. Ooh. Okay, so it's got a really good range. Okay. It's got an 1800 watt motor which is what drives it, so it's got plenty of grunt. Loads. And just look at the blade. You've actually got an 80 tooth tungsten carbide tip blade. When you've got a blade like that on a saw, not only can you do large pieces of timber, right, you can do very fine work as well, which we'll en endeavor to show. Okay, right. now, Tone. I see you've got I, it all lined I, up I, ready, mate. mate. I've lined up some timber for you to attack. Right, mate. Now, the first one is uh, quite a big piece, this, of tantalized, and right. it's quite, Dense timber. Pretty, pretty meaty. By the way, one thing uh, as well, Clive, you've actually got the supports on either side of the table bed that actually hold the work for you. So you, uh, if you're a bit short-handed, you know what I mean? If it's just doing a job on your own, it's not a problem. You don't have to go and get somebody else to, to help you. Okay. The other thing is as well, you can also clamp the work down, which from a safety point of view means that your fingers don't ever have to go anywhere near the blade. So if you're looking at the saw and thinking, oh, you know, it's a bit bigger than I'd normally use, it's not a problem, as I say, because your fingers don't go anywhere near the blade, but just watch this. Are we going in? We're going in, mate. Come on. We're going in. And I'll tell you what, mate. <laughs> I've got to say, Clive, when you go in with a saw like this, you're not there for very long. You're not. All right? You can just imagine like, using a handsaw on yeah, that. You don't it's like a hot knife it. through butter. The other great thing about it is just look how clean the cut is. It really does give you a clean, professional, square cut Right, every single time. Now we've got the laser line generator as well in there, um, and th that's beautiful. We just it just emits that red line, <coughs> and you can just level that up with your pencil line, no Absolutely. problem. Absolutely. And the great thing about that, Clive, is it takes the guesswork out of it. So as I said, if you if you're making up some furniture, you know you can actually see exactly where the saw blade is going to cut. Yeah. All right. You've also got dust extraction on it as well. Uh, it comes with a dust bag, and incidentally, you can actually attach that to your vacuum cleaner. So, so you can actually use it as an active dust uh, extraction system if you okay. prefer. But, you know... Again, Clive, a nice smooth finished timber there. Again, you can actually see that with this saw, it does give a very clean cut as well. So again, you know, uh, whether it's rough sawn timber or smooth timber, it's equally at home with either. Makes so, no difference. If we're doing, say, for instance, fencing <coughs> down the garden, I don't mean fencing with swords, I mean fencing <laughs> with fence panels. Right. Uh, we're going to meet these guys. You these are, are our fence posts. And you know, the worst thing about these, Clive, is marking them out. You know, to make sure you keep them square, you have to put your, your, your uh, line round all four sides. You've got to struggle to keep the, the saw straight. With this saw, right, it's doing all of that for you, and literally in seconds. <laughs> Tell you what, mate, in less time than it takes to talk about doing the job, right, the job is actually done for you. You'll also notice that I also ripped through a very large knot in the wood there. That, right, was, a, without, that was a big yeah, knot. Without any problem whatsoever. Again, you hit a knot like that with a handsaw and you Trying to avoid it, you know, because it's going to break out. But again, it's a very, very clean cut. Remember, you've got 80 teeth on that blade, um, so it's going to give a very clean cut every time as well. It is superb. Now, you did say 290 wow. mil wide, didn't yes, you, Tom? Mate. Take that. Right, well, I'll tell you what, if you're doing window boarding, right, this is the sort of size timber you might want to use. Now, of course, it's not necessarily just for, for pine or, you know, for rough sawn timber, right? Because of the quality of that blade, you could be cutting melamine shelves or four mica shelves, which are very wide. But again, this is going to do those sort of jobs for you with no effort at all. 
And again, mate, just look at the speed. We'd be thinking about drawing our pencil line on there now. With the laser line generator accuracy, with the saw blade really, really quick and cutting very clean, Again, the job is going to take a quarter or a fifth of the time that it would normally take. Now, what about, uh, uh, I've got some picture frame for you in a minute to <coughs> right, do. Right, mate. But in the meantime, uh, what about when you're talking about cornice work and that sort of thing? Right. Uh, because they're quite delicate timbers. The same with picture framing. If, yeah. you, if you're running a picture framing business and you're sawing by hand, uh, then this is going to be a way out for you uh, to cut that time down and give you a real professional finish. But what about when you're doing kitchen uh, right. cabinets and kitchen units well, and things like that? Really glad you asked about that Clive this is for me probably one of the hardest types of timber to cut simply because um, it's very easily damaged very easily marked and so therefore if you are cutting this sort of timber you know to put on the cornice or the palmetto kitchen cabinets maybe if you're doing some dado railing around the house right you need to do those accurate mitres now watch this right as well as sliding that bed in and out right you can actually use it for doing mitres up to 45 degrees right in either direction ah. It also has preset angles, by the way, at 15, 22 and a half and 30, as well as the 45. So you can actually use it for doing ornate furniture, you know, octagons, as I say, so for framework, you know, are you asking about frames? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could actually use it for doing some nice fancy frames. So there's your first cut lock, Clive. In seconds again. <laughs> Right, the job is done for you. And again, just look how clean that cut is. Right? You really do get a perfect clean cut, no breakout every single time. Now, I know you've got the other side there. So what I we do now it. is we just tilt it through to 45 degrees in the other direction. By the way, it will actually extend up to 52 degrees. So if you've got a corner that's not quite square, it's maybe a little bit obtuse, oh, like you can actually use it, as I say, for non-square corners as well. Okay. So we've done the one side of the mitre. Now we're going to do the other side of the mitre. All right, and again, in <laughs> Right, there's the job done for you. Now, there's a very easy way of doing this, because, you know, quite often when you measure this, it can be a bit of a pain to do. Yeah. What I normally do when I cut the, the cornice for kitchen cabinets is I actually cut it virtually roughly to size. Maybe allow, you know, uh, a couple of centimetres over. And then saw I'll, it with a handsaw. Well, what I'll do then is I'll put it on top of the worktop, or on top of the unit, and actually mark it underneath. But don't have to use a handsaw, mate, because with this saw, even if you're using it, for very, very fine cuts, right, it will still do a perfect job. Watch this, Clive. <laughs> now, what I've done this time is I've taken just a couple of millimetres, oh. just a very small wafer, right, off of the end, just to show how accurate it is. And again, just look at that clean cut. Sliver me and timbers. It, tell you what, mate, and you put those two together, right, now, and I'll have a look at that together. for a finish. That is a truly professional finish from a bit of kit that anybody can use. Look at that. That is just amazing. And what about that price? It is tremendous. All you've got to do right now is be quick on the phones if you want to get a hold of yours. That price has crashed quite dramatically. You are just one free phone call away right now. 0800 9171 661. That's the number to call if you want to get hold of yours. If you've got wood to do, both indoors or out, and this is just fantastic. Remember, I have a friend who's actually got a hire business and he said to me that this would cost £20 a day to hire. Now that is with the sliding table bed. That may vary in, in certain counties, but he said 20 quid a day. Five days hire would cost you 100 quid. 86 quid, you've got your own straight away. Now, you can use that any time, whenever you've got a job to do, year on year. Not just for hiring for five days and have a time limit. You're getting it for £86. Be quick on the phone, so remember, it's to your door within five to seven working days. Be quick. Now, time. And I'll tell you what, Clive, once you've got a saw like this, you start to realise all the jobs you can do. You can do your decking. You can do all the, the fancy cuts with it as well, all right? I notice yeah. you've got a now, fairly this, big hefty piece again. And this is there. a really hefty piece, right, Tony. Okay. Well, that tell you could what, be Clive, shelving for yeah. over a fireplace. Could be shelving. As I say, this could be the joist on the roof. You know, yeah. this is the sort of saw that if you're doing a major job around the house, this will cope with even those large pieces of timber. <laughs> And again, Clive, you know, this is not struggling at all. Just look how dense 
Right, that timber grain is, all right, that's the sign of a, a piece of dense timber. That is really it hefty, guys. Straight that is really hefty. No problem now, uh, before Tony gets into the laminate floor, the next challenge I've got, if you are experiencing queues, don't worry, whatever you do, because it's a free phone number. Don't forget, it'll be to your door within five to seven working days. If you've already purchased from us in the past, you're gonna get an extra 5% loyalty bonus discount off that price as well. So be quick. Now, I mentioned Formica and I mentioned Melamine, and this is laminate floor. Again, a very delicate surface. You'll notice I cut that upside down to minimize the chip out, but you can see, look at the face of that. This saw with the 80 teeth on the blade Right, it's such a great clean cutting yeah. saw that it'll even do that delicate work for you, mate. What about decking tone? The other thing I must I must stress as well is it's got the laser line generator. Don't oh. worry, if you're making pencil marks, all you do is slide it up to the pencil line, the laser line generator. You can't see it in the studio because of our bright lights, but it will bring it in line and then make you cut. Well, again, Clive, for decking where you're doing lots and lots of repetitive cutting. There's Absolutely no doubt about the amount of time it will save. By the way, if you're doing diagonal cuts on your decking, again, not a problem for this saw as well. You can alter those mitres, anything between zero and 45 degrees. So you can even use it for diagonal decking as well. Now, take a look at this. Tony said, right. have you got any skirting board? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I've got skirting board. This is a beast of a skirting board. Right. So if I want to be putting skirting board down, okay. Now, if I'm you're doing, giving you a big challenge. If you're doing low skirting board, if you're doing architrave around the door, you can actually do the mitres upright, right, as we've been doing all along. Now, for obviously high, uh, high skirting board, that is not going to go underneath. So this is how we do it. What we do is we just simply place it underneath the saw blade. Don't forget we can actually lock it down in place. So that's the great thing about it. Now, on the back of the saw, there's actually a, a facility for actually tilting the blade, right, through up to 45 degrees, right, on the bevel. So you can actually use it for bevel cutting as well. In fact, you can actually couple those two mitres together and do compound mitres, you know, for the it's complex a great, joints as well. It really is a great idea. Yeah, and don't so, forget, yeah. you can just uh, strap that down, as Tony was saying, you've got an extra pair of hands. That's the great thing. Again, your fingers are going nowhere near the blade, but just look at this. If you're doing uh, um, decking or um, skirting water, I should say. How easy does that make that job? Now that is normally a real difficult job to do. You can actually see the bevel I've put on that cut there. And again, you can see that you've got a perfect 45 degree angle, but don't forget up to 45 degree angles on that saw. Now this is no something we did whatsoever. earlier on. We just nibbled a bit off. It was actually just a little tiny bit, but you can see that is the, the thing that we're looking at to get that corner. It really is yeah, as for, easy for as that. external mitres, yeah. you know, you won't beat them. You can actually use it for internal mitres if you prefer to do them that way. That's entirely up to now, you. Now you also said, Tone, that uh, you, you, it'll take 290 mil wide it will indeed, by mate. 75 mil. Uh, right. Also, something else we did earlier on as well. If you're a picture framer, oh, yeah. we did this picture frame a bit earlier on too, uh, just, just to make okay, things just easier. Look how clean the cut is on that. It is a super you know, cut. We are talking about a saw that does all the jobs. You know, if you've looked at chop saws in the past, a lot of chop saws will come with a blade with maybe 20, 14, 30, 30 teeth, that sort of thing. Remember what we're looking at here is a saw with 80 tungsten carbide tipped teeth. What are you doing and now, And what Tom? that basically means, Clive, is that you can do rough sawn timber and fine timber as well. Well, you know, I said to you the capacity, about three inches thick yeah. and 290 mil wide. Okay. I thought we'd finish off, mate, with a nice sandwich. All right? I, I'm just I didn't showing, realize I'm that just was the sort of sandwich you. you were talking about. Well, you know, it's not what I'd normally have for lunch, but I'll tell you what, mate, this actually will eat it for lunch. Just watch this. <laughs> now, what we're looking at, Clive, is a saw. I missed a bit at the end there. It's a saw, and just look at that. I, I, I just didn't push it through too far. If you get a little bit of sawdust around there, just wipe it off. It stops it going right yeah. the way through. And you can actually see there, look, we've gone right through. So we'll slide it through again, look. Yeah. And just to show just you again. Just do one more quick It really call. does have the whole capacity. And uh, again, look at that in seconds. That is brilliant. Now, don't forget, to get yours, you're only going to pay £86. Let's take a look at those details. Here we go. It's the Rigmaster. 
10 inch compound mitre saw with the laser line generator and the free safety kit. That's the goggles and the padded mask. 0800 9171 661. If you are experiencing cues, don't you worry. Now, right over there, we have some more good crashes to happen.